All right, so what are we doing here? This is a show about tech news? Yep. And you wrote the script based on articles. That's right. Uh, okay. So why don't people just read the articles themselves? Anthony, come on. Well, it's, it's more efficient that way. Oh, jeez. It's... <sighs> At the G20 summit this past weekend, U.S. President Donald Trump and Chinese President Xi Jinping apparently had a heart-to-heart. -heart. Both countries agreed to reopen trade talks, with one benefit being that the U.S. will reportedly lift some restrictions on U.S. and Chinese companies doing business. Trump specifically mentioned that Huawei will be able to buy some U.S. equipment that does not affect national security. Stocks in the tech sector, uh, unsurprisingly, rose sharply after the news, although as of now, no actual policy changes have gone into effect, and Huawei remains on the U.S. entity list of banned companies. It's a classic story of friends fighting, blocking each other on social media, and then making up. Wait, how does a spying fit in there? Uh, I don't know, it's not a perfect analogy. Maybe it's like more like a jealous spouse thing. Oh yeah. 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 Twitch announced the ability for streamers to broadcast exclusive streams only for paying subscribers last week. It's a cool new feature for super fans, but it may also be illegal. You criminals. You see, the terms of service for multiple high-profile game publishers, including Blizzard, Valve, Riot Games, and CD Projekt Red, all state that the player can't charge users to view or access videos made using their games. These publishers encourage players to stream and earn revenue, but the content has to be freely available. The subscribers-only stream feature is ostensibly intended for use during special occasions like esports broadcasting, but Twitch is probably going to have to convince publishers to alter their TOS in order to make that happen. Looks like even giant video game companies don't read the fine print. I mean, speak for yourself, Riley. I read it. That's impressive. Yeah, you always had to read the EULA. That's that's how it is. You're you don't know what man. you're you don't know what you're signing away. You're a better man than me, Anthony. And the first beta test for the Halo Master Chief Collection on PC rolled out to select Halo Insider members on the weekend. Less than a thousand of them, though. Uh, and that gave other Halo fans what doctors call major FOMO. Even though 343 Industries posted nearly 20 minutes of Halo Reach gameplay to tide players over, according to the company, a pirated copy of the beta was illegally distributed online. Understandably, 343 doesn't want a beta meant to get feedback on potentially janky controls to get out in the open, so they've threatened to ban the accounts of anyone found to have illegitimately downloaded or played the beta. I know being patient is hard, you guys, but if you're really itching for that Halo fix, why not try Splitgate? It's basically Portal mixed with Halo and it's free to play. And you won't risk being arrested. That's what I call a hashtag and what? Hashtag Anthony hot tip. I don't have those. Yeah, you, know, you, got, you got so many tips. Uh, I guess. <laughs> now it's time for Quick Bits, I guess. Brought to you by Drop and the Sennheiser PC37X gaming headset. Its angled drivers are from the same family as the well-known HD 598 and HD 600 headphones for fantastic sound quality. Featuring an open back design and noise-canceling microphone, it offers great stereo imaging and locational accuracy. Join the Drop today at the link below. On to the, what? Quick Bits? Yeah. Fine. Quick bits. Quack bats. AirDrop remains one of the best benefits that Apple devices have over Android, but that might change with Android Q. The next version of Android will reportedly have a feature called FastShare, which will use Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to send files and texts to nearby people. Awesome! Now Android users can also get blasted with memes by teens on the bus. I feel included. You should. Hey. Oh. Sorry, did you think that you owned your ebooks that you bought from the Microsoft store? Hmm, no, yeah. Turns out Microsoft is shutting down the DRM server that provides licensing for its ebooks, so they're gone. Just gone. Microsoft is giving users refunds for the books they're snatching away, but still, I guess we don't own anything these days. Not even our own thoughts. No, that's what I was thinking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> SpaceX launched the first 60 of their internet-providing Starlink satellites over a month ago, and they've reportedly deployed successfully. All except for three of them, which will drop out of orbit and burn up in the atmosphere, along with two others that are being intentionally scuttled. 
Space internet is cool, but these 60 Starlink satellites are expected to be joined eventually by nearly 12,000 others. Right now, there are only 2,000 satellites in total orbiting the Earth, and we already have a space debris problem. Good luck getting to Mars through your own self-made death trap, Elon. Did not think ahead. Yeah. Uh, a week after issuing a recall for some MacBook Pro models, Apple has contacted owners of the 2018 MacBook Air, telling them to take their machines into an Apple store for a free logic board replacement. You think events like that will increase or decrease now that Tony Ive has left? I think MacBooks will just be regular laptops. Yeah, <laughs> I can get behind that. They'll look like 2012 Windows PCs. You know, less design for design's sake and more design for, you know, being Apple able to, use. yeah, actually fix it. And electric cars make very little noise. The only problem is that sometimes you can't hear them coming. The EU is fixing that by passing new legislation requiring all low emission vehicles to have some noise emitting devices by 2021. The change should make life simpler and safer for pedestrians, but what I'm wondering is whether we'll be able to make our own noises, like ring ding 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 and wa pa 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 pa. I would, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that as well. Yeah, well, we're in Canada though, so. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> All right, that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, and if you want more tech news, you can subscribe and hit the bell icon, or you can just read the articles yourself. Anthony. I mean, <sighs> is this channel just for people who really don't have the time to sit down Listen. and read an article? Oh my goodness. I'm getting a phone call. Ring, ring, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> this guy. Hello. Wa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pow.